Welcome back boys. So today a little bit of a different video for you guys We're not gonna be opening card, but rather looking at a million of them I believe today. I'm at Stade IGA here in Montreal in Parc Jarry beautiful park by the way for the anti expo Or I believe now it's called the sports hobby expo. I'll put it up on screen Basically, this is an expo that's uh, three days long. So Friday Saturday and Sunday and uh, there's gonna be a lot of hockey cards, so this is perfect for me. This is the first time that I show up to a huge expo like this, so I'm really excited to see what's in store for me. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, trade, perhaps sell, maybe even buy some things. We'll see how that goes. Unlike perhaps the other videos that I make, uh, I usually have a goal in mind as to what kind of uh, things that I want to get. This time, I'm going in there blind. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just excited to be here, and uh, I'll just look around basically and... Uh, see if anything catches my eye as you guys know i love pmg so hopefully i'll find some of those i don't know maybe i'll be able to trade mine i brought basically most of the stuff that i have no intent to really sell anything or really give it away or like trade it or anything but we'll see if the right offer comes uh i might do it but yeah that's basically it let's go in there and uh, see what's up Also, forgot to mention this, but if my hair is all out of whack and I'm tearing up a little bit during the video, I mean, it's not because of this beautiful weather. It's just my allergies are popping the fuck off right now. So uh, apologies in advance. No, uh Hey guys, so I just got into the expo, just kind of went in the back right now to uh, just have a little peace and quiet and basically put down what I got with my pass. So I bought the uh, Super VIP package, which was $50. With it, I get access to all three days, a mystery card and two mystery signed pictures. So we're gonna open that with you guys right now and uh, see what we got. So I've pre-opened the envelopes because I'm alone and uh, I needed two hands. So I guess we'll just start with the uh, mystery card. I haven't looked yet, so uh, we'll see what it is. Okay, so it looks like it's a mystery card packet, actually. So let me just open that up. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got an amped up Cindy Crosby from uh, Metal Universe this year. We got a center retention, Ryan Johansson. Ooh, nice. A banner year of uh, Charlie McAvoy. Pretty cool. Rookie retrospective of Michael Bunting. About to play his last game. Or I guess by the time you're watching this, he probably did play his last game. And a numbered artifacts card of Jacob Markstrom. Now for the mystery uh, pictures. Not too sure who we can get in this. Uh, they didn't announce anything really. So uh, let's, I think I get two. Let's see who we got. So for the first one, I got, oh, nice. I have no clue who this is. And the second picture is, uh, I don't know my Tampa players, guys, sorry. <laughs> the second picture is, well, I don't know either. Hold on, I gotta Google these. Okay, so upon further inspection, this is Nicolas Baudouin, Nicholas Bodine, and this, I still don't fucking know. Uh, I guess tell me in the comment if you figure out who this is. I, I won't put it up on screen, I'll let you guys help me, so yeah. Also, I don't know if I should be not proud, but they gave me a free lanyard, which was Tampa Bay Lightning, so I think I'm gonna take that one off and uh, <laughs> use my own. So uh, anyways, let's go see uh, what the vendors have and uh, report back to you guys later, I guess. Hey guys, so I did my first little round. There's a lot of stuff. It's hard to go through everything and find exactly things that interest me. But uh, I did stop by the booth of uh, my favorite podcast, basically. So if you 
It's in French, so if you speak French, check him out. It's called Show de Car. That little sticker here, I don't know how to show it. There you go. I think it's backwards, but... Yeah, check him out. The host super nice. Actually, he let me, uh, he had a free spot in his uh, tag rating submission. So I'm going to send in my green coffee through that. I love tag. I'll make a video about it because uh, I honestly do believe that it's the future of grading. Uh, but that'll be coming in the following weeks. You guys will see a video about that. I did also see uh, some Jack Hughes and uh, a lot of Tim Stutzless. So uh, I think those are two players that are going to pop off next year. So I think I'm going to try and pick some cars off from them i don't know how it's gonna go if i make a deal with somebody but uh, i'll try and record it so uh we'll see also holy fuck it's hot in here but uh we carry on <laughs> a few minutes later hey guys i'm here with jimmy from uh, sports la tornade tornado i guess in english so uh we're just doing a little trade uh, i'm putting where my money where uh, my mouth is and uh we're basically just trading it's gonna be a jack hughes tac 10 and a jimmy's 2 tac 10 for Caulfield and some money. So, uh, yeah, I just talked a little bit about the future of grading. I think tag is, is going to be it. So, uh, yeah, just a quick deal, I guess. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my God. What a great guy. This is the best interview I've ever done. Do I say welcome back? I guess not. I'm back in my car from the expo. What a day. Jesus, my feet hurt like a motherfucker just walking around. It didn't look that, it was like, it's not that big of an expo. Well, I don't know. This is my, like, biggest one I've been to, but from what I see in Toronto, it's way bigger. But good Lord, there is a million fucking cars everywhere. You got memorabilia, jerseys, helmets, skates, gloves, sticks, scarves, everything. Game used jock straps. I saw one of those. Anyways, I picked up some cool cards for my collection. Some cards that maybe I'm holding for now. I don't know, future investments, we'll see. I'll show you guys those in a minute uh, when we get to that part of the video, I guess, once I'm back home. Otherwise, that pretty much wraps it up for day one. I'm not going to stall too much here and uh, stay the whole time because this game just came out. Uh, this is the release date today. I went to Best Buy, last copy in the store, so I got lucky there. Going to go home, play it a little bit, and uh, go back to the expo tomorrow and see uh, what else I can find. See you guys then. So that was a fucking lie. Hey, guys. Finally back at my house. Um, it's been a couple days to be honest, and I got some good news and some bad news. So, well, clearly you're watching this, so you probably realize that there's no more footage of the expo because I didn't go. Come on, man. Basically, Saturday, uh, well, Friday I stayed up a little bit too late playing Zelda, so that's kind of my bad. And then Sunday was Mother's Day, so I just could not miss that. Love you, mom. I don't know if you're watching, but you never know. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because I can still show you guys what I picked up at the expo. So let's just get right into it. First card I picked up was this Carey Price 2012 base design retro card. I just saw it and you know what? I was looking through bins and I saw it and I was really happy because I have the blue and the red version as you can see here. So picking up the base card was kind of cool just to try and complete the rainbow. Obviously still looking for that green. Let me know if you ever see it. I'd love to own it and complete the full trifecta. So or I guess not trifecta, but quadfecta. I don't know if that's the thing second pickup you guys saw earlier in the video uh, i picked up these two young guns here the jack hughes and tim stutzler tag 10 so tag 10 just to talk a little bit about it i think the process is just fabulous how they do it i honestly don't see any reasons as to why it couldn't overtake psa as the grading king but that is a whole nother subject for a whole nother video what is interesting about these though is this jack hughes is actually the first tag graded jack hughes young guns so i don't know if that adds any value to me i think it's just kind of cool it's like a little extra bonus in my grading but overall that's what it is traded for these cards with my cool caulfield psa 10 and some money wasn't too keen on trading the caulfield but the vendor wanted it so i was like you know what i'll do a thing especially for these tags they're really hard to find and I just think personally that the ceiling for these two players in terms of card value is a lot higher than Caulfield. I know Caulfield has already been on the on the down low for a while now. Given that he's injured and everything, kind of makes sense. It's off season two, but these two players I think will just hold better long term, and uh, I guess we'll see how they perform next year. The fourth and final card that I actually picked up. This one was a, a trade, rather. I didn't film it because there's just a lot of people at the vendor's booth. It's actually this Nick Suzuki Black Amber Auto. I think this card looks awesome. It's actually one of the cards that I had been looking into buying or just getting online, but the prices were never exactly what I wanted for it. So I was happy to see it at the expo and I could uh, strike a deal with the vendor. I actually traded this, which is the Jack Hughes Acetate Future Watch. 
um, non-auto, obviously. But yeah, I bought that a little bit earlier this year. Uh, I thought it was a cool card, but I wasn't too sure about it. I'd rather have maybe like a like a future watch like this or a cooler card for my personal collection, which this was. So I traded that with some cash and uh, arrived at a certain point where the, the vendor was happy with it. So happy with the trade. Let me know if you guys think it was a good deal in the comments down below. Oh, actually, before I forget, I did pick up one more thing that I hadn't planned on picking up. It's actually a parking ticket. So obviously not what I wanted to get, but it was there. I just got it. Um, definitely something I'm not going to look into getting again. Wouldn't recommend zero out of 10. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm probably going to go back to playing some Zelda because this game is actually incredible. Highly recommend it if you weren't on the fence about getting it. I know this is a card channel, but honestly, I've been having so much fun. I just could not not recommend it in this video. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this. Like, subscribe, do the whole shebang, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, thank you. I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet.